Hey all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am with one video that would help everyone. So I am going to share my COVID experience at home. So in this video, you will learn how to identify the symptoms and how to cure this in home and what to have and what to not. So without any delay, let's get into the video. Uh, two weeks back on April 4th, this started, I felt so tired and had mild fever. Of course, our positive mind would console us by assuming it to be just a common fever and tiredness every student have now and then. That evening, my mom, my dad, we all three had the same symptoms and head-breaking headache. My little sister didn't show any sign of suffering. We decided to isolate ourselves and wear masks inside the home. Next day, April 5, I had rashes and itching around my neck and face. I was not sure why all of a sudden I had such red rashes, but I observed it and found they vanish in 15 to 20 minutes once forming. Basically, I do research on everything that's happening around me to have a good and stable knowledge on them. I surfed and got to know few people had this rashes as one of the symptoms. These temporary red rashes are termed as hives, it seems. I itched my face, neck and arms and took bath once, twice, but nothing could stop these. Mom had only tiredness and her fever also subsided, so she assumed her to be corona negative. But I had this strong feeling that definitely we should take a COVID test. All my friends' stories will be like I'm in the movie theater in shopping mall, but I was staying inside my home all these days, so I confirmed dad would have caused it to mom and from mom I got this virus. All these thoughts even before taking the test. April 5 evening, 4.55 p.m. We all three, mom, my little sister and myself took the te test in accurate diagnosis. We took the PCR test in terrace in our home. They asked our phone number, other card number and the test was less than a minute. The guy took a test tube that had some pink solution like k that I learned in my practical examination and with a earbud like thing he took samples from nostrils and throat and he bottled it inside the test tube. It is not painful or anything uh, like you wonder it to be, it's just a feather caressing inside your noses. April 6. The morning mom almost had no fever but fatigue. I had mild fever. The one good thing is that after the symptoms we took the test very next day. For one test it was thousand bucks. We packed my little sister to grandma home as around 10 am we got the results to be positive for me and mom. Dad took the test in a hospital and results where two days to come, obviously it's positive for him. Slowly the taste of food was uh, mild and on April 7, I badly had any taste. The sad part is even water which has no taste taste was tasteless. So I want to add a few points about my face and I had a white color whiteheads on my cheeks, my chin and forehead. So I just did some research but as we lack time in this video, I would love to make a separate video of how I cured the rashes. So yeah. So now I will point out the things I did for two weeks in this isolation. The first thing is you have to be clean, wash your hands and sanitize now and then. And the second is I had boiled water 24 cross 7. I had 2 to 3 boiled eggs with pepper daily. I had turmeric milk. I had vegetable soup and mutton soups alternatively whenever my mom made it. Every evening a hot bowl with water and little turmeric steam. So we have to inhale the steam covering us inside the blanket so no vapor escapes. 
for 15 to 20 minutes until we sweat out everything and i had fluids as much as i could at a point everything especially water was so very bitter so all i had was apple juice and my uncle suggested me ors apple juice with electrolytes he is a pharmacist and 10 to 12 tablets morning and evening as per my doctor's prescription one tablet was very small and i didn't notice i had that and after a week i came to know that this is the tablet for the itching and highs i had so i was a fool to not uh, consume it so after having one tablet the next day the itching gradually reduced so how you feel during these days let's talk about it extremely fatigue already we find it hard to move or lazy as and this fatigue was so worse i suffered with prolonged fatigue loss of appetite the main reason is everything you eat is tasteless besides this i didn't find anything unbearable um, i prayed to god for three days to get my taste buds back and i got it mom even after cure couldn't taste much though so i assume that people with middle age group like 25 plus or 30 may uh, not get the taste but soon and also i heard that old people uh, take like three to four weeks to completely get cured from the virus okay let's get into the points now and we could not smell anything even when you keep it near your nose and inhale it deeper no smell baby okay uh, so i have like three categories now i'm 16 years old i got my taste back smell back after two weeks and my mom who is 40 years um, didn't get her taste back my dad he's um he's an iron man he never really cares any symptom to bother him so i really don't know about him so if you have any symptoms don't worry this virus is now so normal and not up to the fuss that people make if you have a little immunity and if you try to increase your immunity after uh, diagnosing this virus then it's really easy to cure it in home all you have to do is be strong follow everything i mentioned here uh, you have to wash your face you have to consume healthy food everything you're going to do is to increase your immunity further this isolation is uh, only done as you should not spread the virus else you can obviously go out normally uh, only two to three days fever will be there and after that only fatigue tastelessness and these things are common and also um, around my 10th day i had constipation and i had a dalcoflex tablet for that around 12 in the night and next day 6 a.m uh, i of course pooped well from then on it was normal and we took the test after 18 days and it was negative and now we are corona negative the only thing you should do is to increase your immunity by every means and pray and stay strong if you have any doubts just uh, mention it in the comment section i will try to reply them and okay uh, but old people should really be careful and better get admitted in hospitals for them it takes around three to four weeks to cure it well and about that uh, phase acne due to the rashes i will talk about in a separate video so yeah hope you are all doing good thank you bye bye